Nadine, I'm home, darling. Hey, Dean, you won't believe this. I just negotiated the biggest contract that this company's ever seen. Come on, come downstairs, have a drink, we gotta celebrate. I wanna talk to you about that nice cruise that we're gonna take, you know, with my big bonus. Nadine, come on, where are you? Come downstairs, where are you? <laughs> what is this? Play me. <laughs> You're such a naughty little girl. I, you know what Danny likes, you little devil. <laughs> Here's a little demonstration to prove to you just how serious we are. No, 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 no.
God! Jesus! What? God! Hello. I take it that now you know the gravity of your situation, Mr. Muller, don't you? It's unfortunate, albeit necessary measure to ensure your complete belief of our resolve. If you cooperate, I swear that no further harm will come to your way. You sick. Motherfuckers, you cut my wife's finger off! I'll kill you! I can empathize with your anger, Mr. Muller. I really can. But not even idle threats will be tolerated. I will only engage in civilized conversations. Now, if you persist with this menacing line of dialogue, I'm afraid we have nothing more to discuss. Wait, 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 wait. Don't hang up. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's better. Who are you people? What do you want? Names are not important, but if you need a name, you may refer to me as Mr. Knight. It's as good a name as any, I suppose. Tomorrow, you will be meeting with an associate of mine. You may refer to him as Mr. Gunn. I'm sure the irony is not lost on you, Daniel, is it? No, it isn't. Good. Then we have a mutual understanding. Say, because it will not be repeated. Yeah, it's me. Muller's on his way. He's got the case. No, I didn't spot a tail. Yeah, right. Gun. try. Where's Nadine? If you hurt her, you know what? I suggest you keep your voice down, Mr. Muller. And I don't much care for that tone either. Considering the situation that you're in, threats are real advised. If I were you, I. I how are you? What can I get you, sir? Just a cup of coffee for my friend here. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll have a cup of decaf, please. Uh, thank you. If I were you, I'd choose my words very carefully. You may feel safe here in a public place, but let's not forget who's holding the cards. Look, I got what you want. Just give me my wife back, okay? You'll get Nadine back. But first, you'll slide that briefcase to me. Under the table. Slowly. And for your sake, Mr. Muller, it better all be there. It's there. It's there. Just let me know if you need anything else. That'll be all for now, sweetheart. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, where's Nadine? Ah, sweet Nadine. When I leave here, you'll stay in that seat for the next 45 minutes. Have a burger, a piece of pie. The food's actually quite good here. On my seat, you'll find a GPS device. Type these coordinates into the GPS device. It'll take you to another location. Another location? What are you trying to pull here? Look, all I want is my wife back. Just give me Nadine back. Tell me where she is. It's rude to interrupt, Mr. Muller. Where's my wife? I wasn't finished speaking. 
In fact, you say one more word, deal is off. I got the money. Nadine can live or die as far as I'm concerned. Understand? Do you understand? Yeah. Now those coordinates will take you to your next location. Be there an hour and 20 minutes after my departure. If we're satisfied you haven't been followed, we'll give you Nadine's location. Now pay the check. Make sure you leave the waitress a generous tip for me. You will forget my face. Forget you ever saw me. As long as you do, we'll forget that you exist and where you live. But if you fuck with us, Mr. Muller, the only thing that you're gonna find is your wife's pretty little head. Uh, yeah, I'll have a, another cup of coffee and uh, a large piece of cheesecake, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Twenty miles to your destination. Estimated time of arrival, 37 minutes. Make right turn onto Victory Lane. Turn left onto Richmond Boulevard. Come on, come on! Destination in 100 feet on the left. Arriving at destination. What an asshole. Yeah.
Hello? Hello, Nadine, I'm here. Very good. You just made it and you're alone. Of course I'm alone. I always keep my word. As do we, Mr. Muller. Page 60 in the phone book. That's where you'll find the coordinates that will lead you to your wife. If you still want her, that is. miles to destination. Turn left onto Hyatt Street in 1.2 miles. I'm coming, baby. Hold on. Come on, come on, hurry up. Oh, oh, bitch. Right at 27A. Turn right onto Armstrong Road. It's gonna be alright, Nadine. It's gonna be alright. Straight for twenty one feet. left here. Final destination in 1,000 feet. Arriving at destination. Nadine. Nadine. 
marks on my wrists. You think you could have cleaned up the place a bit? I've been down for 48 hours. It smells like ass. Oh, I'll never get the stench out of my clothes. The knot was only as tight as necessary. And as for the decor, well, it had to be real enough for your husband not to see through the illusion, Mrs. Muller. How many times have I told you not to call me that? I hate that. It sounds like a fucking disease. What's wrong with you? You got Muller? I swear, as soon as I cash in his life insurance policy, I'm changing my name back to Silvera. I just got done counting the money. It's all there. We're good to go. All right, excellent. All right, gentlemen, one final act left in this play. You know what to do, Nadine? Of course I do. Just make sure no one finds the body. Ever. And how would you like us? to dispose of the body. Don't gross me out with the details. Just make sure it gets done, you fucking moron. OK. The pieces are all in place. We'll handle it for me. I should hope so, considering what I'm paying you expensive pricks. Still, sure is easier than getting a divorce, isn't it? <laughs> Listen up, you stupid bitch. You ever want to see this fat piece of shit alive again? You do exactly as I say, okay? Shut that camera. How did you come across this DVD, Mrs. Muller? Okay. Was it delivered FedEx, UPS, regular mail? No. It was on my doorstep when I got home. They were there. They were at my house. We'll get a unit to go down and dust out cipher prints. We'll take the video to forensics and we'll run analysis on it. You don't think they'll come back, do you, Agent Farkas? Don't worry. We can protect you, Mrs. Muller. Rizzo. Yeah. Have uh, undercover surveillance stationed across the street as well. Okay. Yeah. How long has it been since your husband disappeared? About 48 hours. His flight arrived from LA at 6 p.m., but he never made it home from the airport. We'll get someone to look at the airport security tapes. We may need you to look at the tapes, too, to see if there's anyone there you recognize. They're on their way. When was the last time you had contact with your husband's kidnappers? About six hours ago. They were supposed to call at 3.30 to tell me the drop-off location, but they never did, so I called you. I was so scared, I didn't know what else to do. It's a good thing you contacted us. Men like this are dangerous. It's best you let us handle it, and rather than handle the situation yourself. Uh, do you have any idea who could have done this? Did Daniel have any enemies? No. Daniel was a sweet, sweet man. Oh, God. They're going to kill my husband, aren't they? Not if we have anything to say about it. We're going to do everything in our power to bring Daniel back safely, Mrs. Muller. We have handled cases like this before. And they want their ransom, they will call. And when they do, we'll be ready. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Agent Rizzo will run a tap on your phone so that we can trace the call when it comes in. 
What you have to do is keep them talking for as long as possible so that we can pinpoint their exact location. Can you do that, Mrs. Muller? Yes. Please. I just want my husband back. And please, call me Nadine. Destination.